What's up guys, this is iTweets here. And if you're like me, then you probably don't use reachability all that often. So what I wanted to do in this video is show you guys how to utilize that space just a bit better with some of the best Cydia tweaks for reachability. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So before you stop this video, if you don't have reachability on your phone, there's actually a tweak that gives you reachability. And then with that tweak, you can actually use all these tweaks in this video. So that tweak is called reach all. And what that's going to do is basically just give you the ability to have reachability on your device, even if you don't have a touch ID device. So just download reach all. It's a very self-explanatory tweak. And then you can actually use these tweaks that I'm going to mention in the rest of this video. So one of my main beefs with reachability right when it was released on iOS 8 was that it didn't bring down banners. Now we can actually do that with a jailbreak tweet called banner buddy. So you can see right here, if we go ahead and open up our settings, this is the banner buddy settings and you can see that we have the tweak enabled. Now, if we just tap on test banner, you see the banner right up there. If we invoke reachability, boom, the banner comes down with reachability. Now, if we tap on this little button right here and toggle that on, that's going to keep the banner in place even if reachability goes up. So you can see right here, if we tap on test banner, double tap, and then when reachability actually goes back up, you can see that the banner stays right there. And you can interact with that banner. Of course, it still does have a dismiss time as you can see right there. Next up, we have a tweet called color reachability. So what this tweet does, you can see if we open up an application and then we invoke reachability, it actually gives you a certain color that you set within the settings to use in that reachability space. So to set the color, all you need to do is just go into your settings and then go to the tint color, make sure that it is enabled right up here. And then you can see that you can just slide these across to change the color. There's actually no uh, reason to respring or anything like that. You can see once we change the color and invoke reachability that it actually takes effect instantly. Now, if you want to change the blur right here, you can do so right there as well. And you can see that my background actually comes through a little bit right there. But if that's something that you're looking for, then definitely check this out as well. So next, if you guys want to put a widget up there in that reachability space, and you can do so with Carpe Diem. So to set this up, it's really simple. After you install the tweak, all you need to do is go into the settings for Carpe Diem, and it's going to show you all of your installed widgets that you have on your device, basically straight from the applications that you have installed. So you'll see right here, if we just wanted to select stocks, and then we hit the uh, reachability, you'll see that we have the stock widgets right up here. Now let's say that you wanted to go into the application itself. Well, all you have to do is just tap on that widget. It's going to bring you right into the application. So Carpe Diem is really cool. There are some issues with some of the widgets that they don't work. So just keep that in mind. But some of them work really well. And it's worth checking out if you want to throw some widgets into that reachability space. Now next up is probably my favorite tweak for reachability and that's called on tap music. So you can see right here, if we go into an application and then we invoke reachability, you can see what it does. It's actually showing the album artwork as well as the name of the song and the artist of the music that's playing as you can see right there. So if we invoke this once again, you'll notice that it's on repeat song. So you'll see if I swipe up, it's going to repeat all and let's invoke that again. Swiping down is actually going to shuffle it. You can see right there, there's a little, text right there that says shuffle all. You can also go back and forwards between songs as you can see right there. So just a really nice way to quickly interact with your music. And next up we have a tweet called force reach. Now what this tweet does is give you the ability to use reachability in landscape mode. So you can see right here, if I double tap, it's going to bring uh, the settings application over to the right hand side. So let's go ahead and dismiss this. And you'll also see right here, if we have this one toggled on, then this is going to do the exact same thing on the springboard as well. So if we double tap, you can see all the icons shift to the right. But if you don't have it toggled on, you'll notice that it actually goes straight down. So you probably want to have that toggled on. And then right down here, we also have two other options that's going to allow you to uh, keep this reachability invoked rather than auto dismissing itself. And same thing goes for right here. After a touch, after you touch something when using reachability, do you want it to stay in reachability mode or do you want it to auto dismiss? Just toggle that on in order to uh, keep the reachability alive. Now here we have a tweak called reach app. Now what this tweak is going to do is give you the ability to use reachability in order to see another entire application. So you can see if we open up, let's just say Twitter or Tweetbot and we hit the reachability button, you'll notice that we have our settings right here. And you can actually interact with both of these at the exact same time, which is actually pretty cool. So you'll notice right here that in the settings for reach app that we have it enabled, you can also change this to show the notification center instead of an app. So if we tap on that, you'll see that once we actually 
put it away and bring it back, you can see that we have the notification center right here. Now, another really cool thing about this is that we can turn on a widget. So if we scroll down here to the widgets, you'll see when we toggle that on, you also have some options right here that you can go through and select. But the main feature, as you can see right here, if we bring this down, actually, let's go ahead and uh, get rid of the notification center real quick. We'll toggle that off and then toggle this back. And you'll see that we actually get a really cool layout. We have all of our recent applications right here, and then we have all of our applications right here. So we can quickly go through uh, these applications and just open them right up. So if we want to open up Activator, you can see that it opens right up up there at the top. So it's using just half of that screen or just the space for the reachability. So really cool feature. Definitely recommend checking out this tweak if you have been looking for a way for split screen multitasking. Here we have a tweak called switchability. So if you aren't familiar with this, if we jump into the settings here, I'll show you what we have. So this is going to be the settings panel right here. So you can actually select what you want your favorite app to be. And this is gonna basically give you just a shortcut within the reachability to go to your specific or favorite app. So you can also change the reach size. So if you want it to be really high or really low, then you can just slide this up or down. So you can see if I slide this down and we hit the reachability, you can see that it actually doesn't go down all the way. So if we, cancel that one and we slide it up, you'll see it actually goes down quite a bit. So that's something to mess with right there. We're gonna put it right there close to where it was to begin with. Now you also have unlimited time, so it's not gonna auto dismiss if you wanna to toggle that on. You also have auto dismiss right there. And right down here we have the appearance. So what do you want switchability to look like? So right then we didn't have anything, but if we toggle this on, you can see that the layout is actually 3D vertical. So when we hit reachability, you'll see that we basically get our app switcher right here in 3D mode. So that's what that looks like. And then we also have horizontal standard. And if we hit that, you can see that we can swipe through just like this. And there's basically no space in between these. So that's just something to keep in mind. And it looks like some of them are actually glitching out a little bit. As you can see right there, just a the black. But we'll go back here and we'll go to standard vertical and you can see what that looks like, if it'll work. And then we can scroll through just like that. So those are the three layouts, and you can actually change them dynamically, it seems so. Well, it seems like it screws up a little bit, but if we go back here, you'll also notice that we have uh, the spacing, which is small, which we had that set to. Also, initial springboard view, you can see you can have it as partial, full, or completely hidden. So you can set that up however you'd like. You can also have titles right there, so if you wanna turn off the actual name at the top of the cards and you can toggle that on or off right there. And then you also have the font that you can change and that's just basically for the titles right there. You also have an activation method which is basically just reachability. You can change this if you'd like to. It can also use higher resolution cards. So that's basically all that switchability does. Just allows you to have a different type or different look of an app switcher right up there in the reachability view. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to smash that like button. And of course, if you want to stay up to date with everything Jailbreak and everything Apple, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.